Yeah, so the walking lunge exercise, one of the best exercises for developing lower body strength, particularly within the unilateral section of your training. But it also does a fantastic job of developing overall core stabilization. So you're going to start with your feet hips to shoulder width apart, keeping your abs switched on and your shoulders directly above your hips. Start by taking a big step forward, making sure your hips stay square on for the course of the movement. Bend both legs, slowly lower that rear knee towards the ground until your front thigh is parallel with the floor. You want to focus on keeping your hip height even either side. Common mistake we see is that people twist the body on the way down, so really focus on keeping your hips level throughout the course of the whole movement. If your mobility allows, you want to continue to lower down until your rear knee actually touches the ground. Don't necessarily relax any weight here, just touch the ground slightly and then step forward, bringing your rear leg in line with your front leg. But the key with a lunge in comparison to a split squat is that transition of your body weight over your hips. So you really want to make sure that you're driving through the middle of your foot and pulling your rear leg through back to the standing position. A common mistake we also see is what's called a tightrope lunge, which is where people's feet actually become too narrow and then they lose a significant amount of stability so just make sure that you maintain your feet hip to shoulder width apart throughout the course of the whole movement okay guys so the side plank two different variations of this one easy and one slightly harder i would recommend to focus on quality over quantity within any movement but particularly within this exercise as well as we're looking at developing core stability around a neutral spine so if you do need to use the easier alternative to start with I would strongly recommend doing so so you want to start by lying on your side with your elbow position directly underneath your shoulder bend both knees at 90 degrees and create a slight bit of hip flexion so the knees should be slightly in front of the hip joint from here you want to leave at your hips off the ground supporting yourself with your knees and your elbow get your hips as high as you can whilst keeping both shoulders square on with one another so that there isn't any excess rotation of the torso and just hold this position for the desired amount of time as you can see the progression would be to straighten the legs out and this time support yourself with your feet and your elbow again holding a solid neutral spine position throughout the course of the movement a few compensations that we tend to see here, particularly when it comes to torso position, is that people will turn their body over slightly without keeping their chest perpendicular to the ground. And this is just in a bid to try and turn it essentially into a normal plank with your body facing towards the floor. So really focus on getting your chest perpendicular to the ground. Hold the position for the desired amount of time. And again, make sure you're focusing on keeping your hips high throughout the course of the movement.